<laughs> this is me last night. Fully utilizing the sleeping bag is in like a completely, I was completely in this bag. Because <laughs> it was really cold, but it worked. The sleeping bag did work. I was tossing and turning though because my right knee was pissed off about yesterday's climb. Anyway, I think the sun is shining. Something I recommend doing is bringing your electronics into your tent and actually sleeping with them in your sleeping bag at night when you have cold temperatures because the cold will eat the batteries up. I think there's like shoe mitts or something from hotels. I think the best way is just to shove it down by your feet. I got this 22 years ago at an outlet store in Maine. I think it's Eastern Mountain Sports. Why would you spend $60 on something just because it's made like this, blah, blah, blah. I call this my magic top. Like I remember it was a big deal to spend money on it. And I went skiing and it was, because otherwise I just wore cotton. I wore whatever I owned. I just put layers on. I didn't have special clothes for certain activities. I remember freaking out over it. It was my first time experiencing sweating in a synthetic versus in a cotton and how fast it dried and how warm it kept me. They kind of start to lose their oomph after a while. I think it's time I need to give this up and this is the trip I'm gonna give it up. I'm gonna throw it away at, um, Red, at Redfish Lodge. Bye, we loved you for so long. The sun is shining on us. Everything looks intact on my bike. No animals. It's dry. It's all dry. I've never had a dry rain fly. Oh my goodness, what a joyous morning. This morning we are dining on freeze dried eggs and bacon, a package of ramen noodles and some crushed kale chips. Starting like having too much water, cause you're not supposed to have this much water. I'm liking having it like a soup just gives me more fluid and it seems to last longer eating and yeah I really like it isn't that yummy you're probably thinking oh I bet Naomi got out really early this morning since everything was dry <laughs> no it's 11 30 while I was walking to that beautiful little stream I could see part of my face <laughs> and whenever you can see part of your face and you're not looking in a mirror it usually means something is swollen it's still there it was really bad. I had to pull my nutrient stuff out because I like wasn't gonna totally do anything really this morning. I wasn't gonna cook, I was gonna get up and go. I needed to get a bunch of stuff in me because I don't know what it was. And then I decided, oh, screw it. Since I'm sitting around, I might as well cook. And I never cook, it takes time. And then you're sitting waiting for it to soak. And then going and rinsing the pot at the stream and then drying the pot and then repacking the pot. Yeah, it's like, why am I doing this? I didn't do it last year. I just have a bar or something. I just get up and go. It's just so time consuming. And I'm also making a little fire, which, you know, I pull the little fire packet, starter kit thing out, get the little thing started. That's my choice. And I think it's just because I didn't do it enough last year that it wasn't so cumbersome. But now since I'm doing it more this year on this trip, I'm not, I'm not doing it again. Wow, look at the Sawtooth Mountains. Incredible. Looks like I might have to turn around. Something's not right here. Just kind of trying to get over there. So I'm hoping that this will bring me there. Do you see all the crickets jumping? Just tons of crickets.
we've been on the uh, Idaho Hot Springs route, and then it has you turn off here onto the Redfish Ridge Trail. And let me just show you what it looks like. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look at climbing. Now the ranger told me to stay on this because she said that this way we'll end up hit, running into some black diamond when you come down, but I kind of feel like I did that yesterday. <laughs> I'm doing some thinking. I just don't want to get stuck in what I was stuck in yesterday. You know, I don't think adventure cycling would put you in some crazy rocky thing because this in a sense is single track. They're not calling that this part single track. This is part of the regular route. And as you can see, Redfish Ridge right there in the center says it's a blue. So I don't know what the girl's talking about. It's all subjective. Like I could say, well, it depends on, she might think it's hard, but for me, it wouldn't be. Let me look at the elevation and see what type of climbing. Let me look at the topography part. Since I did download the 100% quality this time. Ah, I wonder if she was looking at, that I was gonna come in on, on bull moose maybe? And then there's, you're right there. And that is the black diamond. So, okay, she was looking at a different trail. The one I downloaded, Adventure Cycling, the kid who routed it, I wonder if this was his detour or if this is actually on the actual map. It says it's Adventure Cycling, and I'm wondering if he chose to take this detour, in which case I guess we'll find out. I mean, I should take it. I mean, what am I afraid of? Apparently yesterday scared me. <laughs> Lifting your bikes, maybe 60 pounds with pack, your feet are sliding. It's like hiking, right, with a backpack, but you're pushing. And you have wheels under you wanting to roll the item backwards. And then you're in the heat. There's no brake. The brake is holding the brakes and standing there. That's your brake. You can't like let go and sit down like a backpack. <laughs> My personality is so funny. Why am I even wasting time contemplating? We all know that regardless of what obstacles may be ahead of me, I'm just not the personality to take the safe route. I can stay on this road and go right to Redfish. To have a nice leisurely ride. <laughs> I have to do it. I, I, I have to do it. Just taking a little, uh, little break with my bike. Unfortunately, when I went to stop, I stepped in a sagebrush bush and went toppling over. But what a freaking awesome view, huh? I mean, wow, look at that view. Can you see it? I have no idea what, I, what you're looking at right now. I'm just panning. The good news is, there's no rocks. The hard part is it's so narrow, I'm like having to step over the brush. It's still better than rocks. Still 12% grade. You know what's shocking? It's Sunday afternoon, I'm in a peak vacation spot. There's a zillion people here. I'm not running into anybody. I'm just not even seeing mountain bikers. I'm telling you, and you know, I'm getting pretty good at this technical stuff. Shooting with one hand, holding the handlebar, one hand, through sand and weight, my bags. Clothes are coming off. I just take my t-shirt out just here so there's no, you know, cover the cleavage because if there's no cleavage, it's like there's no boobs. <laughs> it's just too much to explain right now. We made it to like where it's flat. But guess what? Yeah, we're on a ridge line, but we can't see squat. See? That amazing view. It's gone. It's okay. Because I really needed to know what this trail was so I can scratch off my to-do list. See, I'm getting that goofy state where everything I say I'm going to think is really funny and you're not going to be laughing at all. I bet you want some stabilization right about now, huh? Well, I don't get any stabilization. This is what it's like. Yep. is eating my calf alive. Last year, I had a thick sock that I kept, just one sock out, and it was to put over my pedal when I was hiking biking. It worked beautifully, beautifully. Yeah, so this year, I decided, you know, why do, why do things that work? You know, just do it the hard way. You know, like, 
because I, oh my gosh. Are we actually, is this the real summit? Oh no, you can't be real. I think, I don't know. I think it is, oh my gosh, you have to see this. Oh, you have to see this. He's a red dragonfly. Like a fire dragonfly, gorgeous. There's a loud like scratching noise over here. I think it's just a tree. Wouldn't it be cool if a tree fell? I've never witnessed a tree fall. Well, this is the top. I'm not gonna be able to shoot with one arm up, maneuver through all of the rocks and roots when we start going down. So you can just see how beautiful it is now, intimate. Nope, we're climbing again. Now look what I hit. I actually had to look at my map. I'm like, am I lost? Yep, can barely even see the trail. For some of you, this may be common knowledge. When I know I'm ready to do a, a long decline, I put my bike in the hardest gear, which is lifting the derailleur further off the ground. So it's lower to the ground, the easier gear comes off the ground, the harder the gear. I don't want it hitting anything. We are finally going down. A guy just went by me and I had a brief second of, God, he almost looks familiar, but he went by so fast. So we're talking, she's telling me about a loop she did last year. It turns out that's your husband that just went by. Her husband is the guy that I met on the top of the crazy that I called monster climb right above Shoop. Bike packers! Hey. How are you? Hi. I'm tired of hiking my bike all the way up this hill. Yeah. I'm doing this thing called the Frank Church Loop. And what are you doing? I'm just following him. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, yeah, he told me about you were really struggling. This is the hardest hike I've ever done. It's a fucking grind. I don't even have words for how crazy that is. All my stops getting off my bike, all my huff and puff, that it lined up exactly. He's on this one little stretch. Had I had just taken a little bit longer, he would have passed that intersection and I wouldn't run into him. I literally had like a three minute window to run into him. Some, something was familiar, his voice or his posture on his bike, his... his... By the way, this was not a wee down. Super roggy, big fat roots. <sighs> Not really down, it kind of goes down a little and then up in little spots. A lot of boom, boom. I'm going like, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> I can feel my chest. <sighs> and yeah, you're supposed to kind of put your ass back and down when you're going down steep hills. But since I have the seat pack there on the rack, I can't get down. So I'm really high if I'm trying to sit up off the seat. <laughs> I don't like that feeling of. We just came out of there. Look, bathroom, water. It looks like there's spaces. The woman says she thinks it's probably all full. Oh, magnificent. My battery's gonna die. This is probably gonna be the last thing you're gonna see till I can get to a charger. And that's me getting water. <laughs> Charging and getting dry. Oh, it feels so nice. <sighs> I left all my stuff in the lodge and I jumped on my bicycle and I raced down to the campground down here. There was one spot that was available for just tonight out of the whole place. 
So I put my little sheet there, I didn't pay, I just hung a little white thing, I turned the sign to the reserve, set my tent up, dumped on my bike, it came back here, I changed my clothes, and now I'm gonna order some food. And I got a seat out on the, on the front porch, a cush, cushy seat, and we're gonna enjoy some music and eat some food. There's a smiley face in May Mayonnaise. Can you see him? Wow, I sat there listening to music for almost two hours. I met a great couple next to me from Ketchum. Gave me their number to drop in when I'm there because I want to go back. Explore. Monica, you need one of these puppies. A miniature Australian Shepherd. It looks exactly like Cosmo. Look, it's just the miniature version. He's got all the fuzzy fur that you love. I just heard my name. I'm out here at Redfish. <laughs> And this girl's like, Naomi, Naomi? She's like, what'd you say? I was like, I'm Naomi, do you remember me? You're the girl from the freaking climb. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is just freaking me out. Okay, the fact that I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to know you. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, that's crazy. I am in awe of the people that I'm running into. My cute little bike shorts. Are you ready to see where we? Got to sleep tonight. Oh my gosh, it's nice to have my tent all set up. I have to get up this climb with one hand. Okay, we're almost there. Wait till you see this amazing oh, spot I got us. Oh, jeez. Almost there. I did it. Ah, oh, look at this, huh? Oh, isn't it fantastic? I have all these amenities like a a bear container, a nice picnic bench, rocks to sit on. I don't actually know what this is. A table to prepare food, maybe? Oh, and you're allowed to burn, because that guy is burning over there. Oh, and look at this view. This has been such a bizarre last few days in regards to people. You don't even know about the couple. Remember I was sleeping on the beach there at that lake? A couple came and they were just looking for a beach spot that they'd seen when they were kayaking. We were chatting about, you know, being parents to four kids, blah, blah, blah. And that was that, we said goodbye. When I did that ridiculous climb yesterday out of Pettit Lake and I was pushing my bike up that ridiculous trail that I wasn't supposed to be on, <laughs> people were coming down the hill, hey, Naomi. I'm like, when you just think of all of the moments of time of passing somebody, intersections of the trail, coming down to the lake, like there were so many opportunities to have missed them. Today, I pass the guy who I, pa who I ran into last year. It's because his wife was slower. She stopped and she was out of breath and so we were talking. If she was keeping up with him, they would have passed me. Not to mention, I haven't passed any mountain bikers. And the fact that the one mountain biker that comes pedaling by me on this trip is a guy that I already met and that I took video footage of last year. Like, it's just mind boggling. Then I hear Naomi and it's Naomi from the Galena Climb. She actually was just coming into the, like where you just pull into the parking lot and she was meeting a couple friends to drive out. So there was like a window of, of 10 minutes. And I just come out to the general store and I'm ready to pedal away, in which case I would have missed her. And I go, oh, I really need to get change for the campground. I was at my bike to get my money to go back into the store to get change. I hear, hey, Naomi. She goes, yeah, you left. And I thought, this girl just took video of me up on a mountain. And I don't even know her. I'm, I'm never going to see her again, she said. She said to herself. And she has video of me, and she's going to put it on YouTube. The universe is putting us together. There are endless trails here galore. So the fact that I ran into three people again is mind boggling. Ah, 
it was a wonderful evening. It's really not so much that I think the lake is spectacular, because I still like pet it. It's probably my favorite. It's because you saw those mountains. Those mountains are crazy stunning. They're jaggedy, rockety, just the face of them. And in the morning, we're gonna go down and sit in one of those lounge chairs again, and we're gonna watch the sun bounce off that ridiculous mountain. Good night. <laughs>